In order to clearly understand the role of a charger in a DC control system, it's necessary to know what a typical DC control system layout looks like and how the system works. This part of the program will describe a typical DC control system. The key points that will be covered include a typical DC control system layout and the principles of how the control system works. The first part of a DC control system is located at the AC supply panel that is the source of alternating current to the battery charger. A breaker in the AC supply panel controls the supply of AC power to the charger. The next two parts of the DC control system are located at the battery charger. An AC input breaker on the charger panel controls the supply of alternating current to the charger. A DC output breaker on the charger panel controls the supply of direct current from the charger. The direct current output from the charger may be fed to a DC supply panel or directly to the battery, depending on the system design. In the DC supply panel, a series of breakers controls the supply of direct current to the DC loads on the system. The battery may be connected to the DC supply panel or it may be connected directly to the charger. Also, depending on the system design, a fuse, current limiters, or a breaker may be used to protect the battery from short circuit currents. Here, a single fuse is installed in series at midpoint in the battery. Other systems may have slow blow fuses or current limiters in both the positive and negative cables close to where the cables connect to the battery. This simplified illustration of the DC control system can be used to explain the normal operation of the system. The normally closed breaker in an AC supply panel allows alternating current to flow from the panel. The normally closed AC input breaker on the charger allows alternating current to flow to the internal components of the charger, which convert the alternating current to direct current. The normally closed DC output breaker on the charger allows direct current to flow to the DC supply panel, as shown here, or directly to the battery, depending on how the system is arranged. The normally closed breakers on the DC control panel allow direct current to flow to the individual DC loads on the system. The battery charger normally supplies direct current to the loads as needed, and to the battery in order to keep the battery fully charged. If something should happen to interrupt alternating current input to the charger or direct current output from the charger, the battery would immediately supply all of the direct current to the DC loads. The components of your DC control system may vary some from the ones illustrated here, but the principles of control that they represent are the same. The breakers in a DC control system are operated in a specific sequence when a battery charger or a battery is replaced. Because DC control systems can vary some from the example used in this program, it's important for you to become familiar with your company's DC systems and how they work. The typical DC control system layout shown in this part of the program and the explanation of how the control system works should make it easier to familiarize yourself with the specifics of your DC systems.